What's up guys, it's Zero bringing you another episode of In the Mind of Zero. This time we're playing a game of free-for-all on Raid. And let's go ahead and go over the class setup here. I'm using an M8A1 with Fast Mag, Adjustable Stock, and Reflex Sight. Uh, fast Mag because I'm a chronic reloader, and Fast Mag saves my life quite often. Adjustable Stock so I have more maneuverability in gunfights, and a Reflex Sight because the M8A1 requires accuracy. A hard line is for getting streaks faster. Flak jacket is to prevent the uh, the bullshit explosion kills. Toughness is to keep me on target better in gunfights. And dexterity is so that I can climb obstacles faster, obviously, and uh, pull up my gun quicker in a gunfight. So the first thing that we need to do is find out where we're going to spawn. Now, it's looking like it spawns me in this area of the map here that's highlighted by the circle. So I need to figure out you know where my threats are coming from and that is in the highlighted areas of the map now now when deciding where to go here I need to think of what their probable routes are when they take these uh, or when they spawn in these spots and if you look at the the routes in front of me that is a giant cluster I mean there's a bunch of possible spawns over there and they can all go a variety of ways so you know going ahead of me is not really too attractive of an option. It's just, it's going to be extremely predictable, or excuse me, extremely unpredictable as to where they spawn. Whereas the spawns behind me are a lot more predictable. You know, there's, there's fewer ways that they can go. There's fewer spawn points back there. So honestly, it feels like if I were to go back towards the garage instead of towards the, uh, the laundry room up there, that I'd be in much better shape. So that's what I end up deciding to do. Now, when I look here, I want to use cover to my advantage. So I duck behind that van first thing and then come down here so that the van will cover me from anybody who spawned across the, uh, the little rock garden there. Now, I see a guy over here but did not feel I could hit the shot so I didn't take it and then take this guy out over here. Now, that guy ran up here so I'm thinking he may be up in the uh, bedroom there so, and that's exactly where he is. So I kill him and now I need to start thinking about revenge spawns. You know, I had two kills where the red X's are and I am where the solid red circle is so I'm thinking that the transparent area of the map is where it's going to try to revenge spawn them but I honestly made a mistake here you know because of my position on the map where I was behind the wall these two highlighted areas are also now valid spawns because I don't have line of sight to them and it would take me longer than three seconds to run to them so those were also valid spawns and that does end up getting me killed but Based on what I was thinking, I check over here, and then check the middle to make sure nobody was coming that way, and then somebody spawned in one of those two highlighted circles that I had. Now, where I spawned here is where I want to be on this map. This highlighted rectangular, rectangular area of the map is where I want to patrol, so spawning there was actually a good thing. You know, Now, the fact that I spawned there is uh, really helpful because I don't have to run clear across the map. You know, you want to pick an area, like I said in my last one, you want to pick an area of the map to patrol, and this is the area I prefer on raid. So I come up through here expecting gunfights, so you'll see as I round corners, you know, a lot of times I'll bring my sights up, you know, I don't just rush blindly around corners. Now I see this guy, and I once again, I violate my don't chase tenant. I really need to start listening to myself and taking my own advice and quit chasing people. Now I want to get back over to my patrol area as soon as humanly possible, so I take this guy out, this guy, and then we pick up somebody in the kitchen for a three-piece. Now I did see somebody running to the right there, so I'm thinking he may be jumping out the kitchen window, so after checking the bedroom, I come up here, and then I'll come in here and check the money room. Don't see anybody, so we're now back in our uh, patrol area, so this is where we want to be, so we'll just continue along with our patrol. So I fire a burst so that I'll appear on the mini-map so that anybody who's over here will know kind of where I am. You know, and it's not actually a good thing that people know where you are, but, and I see a red dot to the right here. But I do want people to come to me in a free-for-all. And then I try to hip-fire this guy down, and it was just horrible, horrible aim on my part. I deserve that death. Now, where you spawn will also give you some information. I died on the red X, spawned on the solid circle, and I didn't spawn in the transparent circle, which lets me know that there are so many enemies over there for the game to consider that an unsafe spawn. So as I spawn back in, I see red dots on my minimap in the area up there, so I know that I need to get ready for some gunfights up here. So using the minimap, I take that guy out, and then we continue along on our patrol. Now we take her out, and then we just go back along the patrol path. Now the reason that you want to uh, run a patrol in free-for-all 
is that you don't want to be able to be shot from all angles. You want to kind of control your gunfights, you want to kind of know where the enemies are coming from. Running a patrol and knowing the spawns is going to give you a much greater chance of winning gunfights than just running around blindly, because you know, you're less likely to be shot in the back running a patrol. Now I saw him over there, didn't get him, but somebody chased him through there and I picked him up. So we continue along the patrol, see a red dot behind me, and once again, with some awesome MLG Pro dodge moves, I still could not kill the guy, and it spawned me clear over here. Now spawning me over here lets me know that that entire area that I want to patrol is what the game is now considering unsafe. So I really need to be careful as I make my way back over there. Now I see him over there but don't have a clear shot on him so I don't take it. And then we're going back to our patrol area. Now patrolling the map is vitally important in free for all. You don't want to sit in one place and camp. You know that that's for one it's boring. For two if you come up against any kind of half decent players if you're in one spot they're going to take you out of it almost every time. You may get them once but the second time that they come through you're dead. Okay now I'm hit with an EMP grenade here and I don't know where it was thrown from so I decided to back off to give myself a little bit more room and I see bullets coming through the wall to the right so I'm able to pick this guy up from that. And then we continue on through our patrol and I need to watch this area up here. I see him going through the middle there and then thankfully I'd picked up that Scorpion Evo because I would, I'd missed that guy very badly the first couple shots I had. I only had one burst left so I figured it's best to switch to the Evo. Now I saw a red dot there but he died and then there was a red dot to my left which let me know where he was coming from. And a red dot to my right again but I don't see him so he must have ran up here. I check here and there he is. And then I see a red dot up here which lets me know to get ready for an engagement there. Now I've got 20 bullets left in this, so I need to think about switching to my secondary, my second primary soon. I pick him up and only have 4 bullets left, can't get him, but the guy over there didn't see me, which brings up a VSAT. Now this guy's around the corner here on the VSAT, so I'm going to try to wait for him to come out, but then somebody comes to the right, so I pick him up, and then I come to challenge this guy, but somebody else comes. I do end up getting him, but then the guy who had waited around the corner there ends up taking me out. So we're just going to head right back to our patrol area, but with the V-side up, it makes it so much easier. Take out the quick scoper. Somebody's coming to the left here. Take him out. There's another one up here, but I'm not sure where he is. It looks like he was too far in the map for me to try to take out. So I see this guy coming up the stairs here, and I'm not able to get a shot on him. But look, I go to turn to the left and run, and I see him turn and come towards me. Now this is a gunfight that I don't want. You know, he will be behind cover when he hits that corner. I would have to turn on him before he gets to that cover in order to make this a fair engagement, and I don't want fair engagements. So I back off, get behind cover myself, and then take him out. You know, discretion is the better part of Valor. You don't want to engage in bad gunfights. You know, you want every advantage going into a gunfight, so if they have an advantage in a gunfight, then reset the engagement. Take away their advantage. I see his red dot, take him out. And I see a couple red dots over here, but I'm not sure where they are. And then a couple behind me as well. So I decide to come back this way. Don't see him there, so he's got to be over here. Take him out, and then it revenge bonds him right next to me for the final kill. Well, guys, this has been the third episode of In the Mind of Zero. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below. If you like the video, please like it. If you're not a subscriber yet, then I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Zero saying, I'll catch you on the flip side.